Hey gang, Bronco Carl 92 here. So today I'm building a Dana 60 rear and I'm going to show you how to make setup bearings to build it. So the rear I have here is a Dana 60 and I'm basically putting a Detroit locker in here um, and I'm reusing the, um, the original ring and pinion um, which pretty much is not really that big of a deal. Normally you can just uh, transfer your bearings and your shims over and you're usually pretty close um, but we don't want pretty close, we want this actually to be accurate. So. The best way to do this is to use a set of uh, bearings that are called setup bearings. And what a setup bearing does is um, it, you have the ability with that to um, remove it and put it back onto the diff carrier without the means of a press and pullers and damaging the bearings and the shims, etc., etc. So um, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so here's our new Detroit Locker Differential Assembly. Um, these are the shims from the old differential. Um, they're a little beat up. Um, but that's quite all right because that's just for demonstration purposes. We have new ones in the kit uh, with the new bearings. Um, here is one of the original bearings that I pulled off of the uh, original diff carrier. The bearings were actually in good shape. Um, and I've already, as you can see, polished up the inside here and lubed this up. Now the idea of a setup bearing is you want it to basically slide on and off easily. You don't want it to be too loose, but just snug. And the point of that is, is that you can adjust your shim thickness. And of course achieve good tooth contact if there was a ring gear on here. Ring gear is not on here yet, we're going to put it on in a little bit. So anyway, let me show you how I, uh, how I smooth these out. Okay, here's our bearing. Um, I've got it um, in the vise here. Um, to do this, I use a flap wheel. Um, this one here is a 60 grit. And then I follow up the polishing with a 120 grit and, of course, a cordless drill. So, safety glasses, of course. Now, this procedure takes probably about I don't know, five or six minutes. It's best to uh, basically hone, check, hone, check, etc. Once you're close, then you can switch over to the 120 grit and give it its final polish. Okay, so after about five or so minutes, um, we're done. Uh, one thing that's worth mentioning, um, this bearing will get hot when you do this, and it's probably a good idea to get it the same temperature as your diff is before you try placing it on, because if it's warm, it'll be a little bit expanded, and it might not come off so easy. So, here we go. There you go. Okay, so I have the two setup bearings done for the differential. I just have to take the one off the pinion now on the inside and get that one done. And uh, I'll be ready to set this diff up. So um, anyhow, until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.